Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 22nd of 2023. Well, it is titled stars and dust across Corona Australis. So what do we see here? Well, looking in the direction of the constellation of the Southern Crown, we see a molecular cloud or at least a portion of it here. And it's relatively nearby being only a few hundred light years away. So that's much closer than something like the Orion Nebula, which is well over a thousand light years away. Now when we look at it we see especially on the left hand side we see an example of a dark nebula a dark dusty area and you can see in the darkest areas you see very few stars. Now there are just as many stars in those areas as there are anywhere else in this image. We simply cannot see them because there is so much material in between us and those stars. And the dust in that nebula will then block out the light from behind and keep us from seeing stars which would otherwise be visible. Now, that said, that does not mean that this is a very dense area. It is still an extremely good vacuum. Even in those densest areas, you can still you still you still would not have a lot of material only in the very densest parts where stars are forming would we get up to densities with which we are used to. Now as we see it when we look at uh, those areas we see that you're just looking through a dusty nebula and no matter where you look your line of sight will strike a dust particle and when you look over light years it doesn't take a lot of dust particles concentrated together to be able to keep you from seeing through it. Now it's similar to looking through a forest and if you're deep in a forest you cannot see the edge because no matter where you look your line of sight reaches a tree. As you get closer to the edge and you're looking at fewer trees then you can see through some of your parts will actually some of your lines of sight will go through and will not strike a tree allowing you to see out the edge of the forest. Well it's very similar to what we see here. Now on the right hand side we see the bluish color associated with a reflection nebula. Now that's also caused by dust. So when the dust is less dense and around the very bright stars which have now emerged from their cocoons here that those large hot stars will emit primarily blue light. They will give out a lot of blue and ultraviolet light and that those that types of light are better scattered by the dust. So they appear to come from all directions and that gives us the blue color of the reflection nebula that we see here. So longer wavelengths such as red and infrared are better able to penetrate the dust. And if we looked at this in the infrared, we could look through those dark regions that are completely blocked out when we look through at visible light. So the red light and the infrared is able to penetrate better. The shorter wavelengths like the blue get scattered and appear to come from all directions, giving the reflection nebulae that we see on the right hand side side their distinct color. So that was our picture of the day for June 22nd of 2023. It was titled Stars and Dust Across Corona Australis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the Condor Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.